Hi, I'm Joe Freeman of The Oregonian. This is Mike Richmond of The Oregonian. This is another Trailblazers post-game video report. The Blazers beat the Sacramento Kings 105-93 Monday night. They moved three games over 500. First time they've won consecutive games since March 1st. Hasn't been the best month for the Blazers. Uh, but that said, haven't lost any ground. They're still in sixth place in the West. Two and a half games ahead of the Utah Jazz. And now is it two games behind? Two and a half. Two and a half behind the Memphis Grizzlies, who lost tonight despite the fact that San Antonio rested many of their players. And rest has been a hot top topic issue around here lately. Heading into tonight's games, uh, the Kings inexplicably decided to rest DeMarcus Cousins, Rudy Gay, and Rajon Rondo, despite the fact that they're a bad team. And uh, it greatly benefited the Blazers, obviously. Um, but talking around the Blazers locker room, they not only see no need to rest, they see no avenue in which they will rest any of their players. We're talking about the third youngest team in the league, a team fighting for playoff position. And even though guys like uh, Al Farouk Aminu, Mason Plumlee, CJ McCollum, Alan Crabb, and Noah Vonley have already reached career highs in minutes. Uh, because of the fight that they're in for playoff positioning and the playoffs in general, they're going to power through it. Uh, they all pretty much dismiss the notion that they A, need it, B, want it, and C, uh, that there needs to be any plans to have it. So don't expect your Blazers to rest, uh, barring any type of uh, where they maybe sew up a playoff spot and a seeding. If that uh, situation presented itself, maybe Stotts would rest them, uh, but I don't foresee that in the Blazers' future. What we did get to see is them rest the final 12 minutes. Indeed. They were up 28 points at the end of the third quarter against the woefully undermanned Kings, and all the starters got to watch the end of the game, end of the bench. From the end of the bench, no, none of the starting five played more than 30 minutes, and that starting five included Mo Harkless, who we don't know yet because Terry will never, <laughs> Terry Stotts will never tell us, but it's a safe bet. He's going to be part of the starting five for the rest of the season, and he was part of that group that got to enjoy the game from the end of the bench because they just routed the Kings. Uh, CJ McCollum had 16 and an off night. Damian Lillard had 13 and 9, I think. There was no one had a big game except for Alan Crabb, who had 21. But the most important thing is they took care of business and set themselves up for what is going to be a really tough weekend, starting with Thursday night against the Boston Celtics, and we will talk to you then.